It's another story that must be told, ladies and gentlemen. Every time we have a fight at our borders, we always look at and uh, remember and think of our martyrs. Oftentimes, we don't look within. We have lost more soldiers in our internal security issues, fighting within our borders over the last many decades. And that body count is huge. And that body count was because of red terror. Here comes another movie from those people who seem to have made it a business of making movies nobody else would make. And perhaps uh, in that manner, they've also become perhaps a trinity, if I may say, an actor, a filmmaker, a director, and of course the producer. So all of them come to coming together. And every time they pick up subjects, they pick up subjects that push the entire, you know, barrier, if I may say, or the push the line and go to that place where normally filmmakers would not want to trudge upon. So it's great to have them back here at CNN News 18, but in our new studios, in our new facilities, exactly about nine months down the line. So Diptus then, Adha Sharma and Vipul Shah. Namaste. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank, Thank you very much. Jai and this time around, wow, that look is fantastic, Adha. <laughs> and, and, and you look from Kerala stories to now we're talking Bastar. And in between a commando, you've really decided that I want to become the <laughs> true hunter wali of this age. Uh, why not? But they're all different kinds of action. I think commando is more of that larger than life uh, superhero uh, space. This is very realistic and hard hitting. Mm. But uh, I enjoy action, all kinds. This is really real, like real, real, mm. realistic. So let me tell, let me ask you, from Kerala, to moving to these areas of red terror, that is Bastar, Dantewada, so this Chhattisgarh, Ma, you know, Marathwada, that region altogether. How different was this subject? Well, in Kerala, I'm, yeah, in Kerala, I'm playing a victim, uh, and in this, I'm a warrior, I'm a savior, I'm a, leading war. So it was really cool. I think of Vipul sir and Sudipta sir to cast me, the same person who in their previous film was a victim who was petrified, scared. I'm this innocent college girl who doesn't know what's happening with her. Here I'm in charge, I'm giving people uh, commands and getting things done and uh, I really enjoyed it. For it's actor, a totally it's different uh, body language. Yes, totally. It's, yes. It's, it's a totally different body language. Yes. But then what for you was the essence of the story? Uh, again, it's like putting a truth forward and with the Kerala story, I realized there is an audience who likes to watch uh, stories like this. I mean, it was the whole country if it uh, had so many people watching it and the whole, uh, it released on OTT eight months, eight, nine months after the release in theatres and it still was number one on the OTT platform when it released and it made all these, it broke all those records even on OTT. So uh, I just thought that I'd owe it to that audience to give them another film and I don't want to repeat the same thing and do the same role again. Hmm. It's so nice to be someone else, different body language, different body <laughs> also, hmm. uh, different face, uh, another person. And another very important story to tell. Uh, it's also a story about our country that I didn't know has happened because we live in cities and you know it's not happening to us in our city here. So, so you didn't know it. about it? I didn't know about it, no. Hmm. I didn't know. Uh, I have friends also who were, and we were like, Bastar, what is Bastar? Like Bastar. Naxal, you know, you've heard of Naxalites mm. and everything, that we know. But I didn't know all about this. And I guess when I get into a proje project, then I obsessively read about it and learn about it. And, mm. uh, so when you read about it, what did you think? I think it's terrifying. There are so many incidents happening, like the tribal woman in our movie, uh, her husband was cut up into pieces because he hoisted the Indian flag at a school function. Just for hoisting your flag in your own country, uh, you're cut up, chopped up into pieces in front of his child and the mother. So, Deepthus have met the actual woman and he has a video of her and also stories like that. Uh, and these people are um, oppressed by a system that is corrupt and very, very, very powerful. So, even over here, we are fighting against people who are so powerful and um, there's, there's no, there's such an imbalance in the power, such an imbalance in, in things. So, I thought it's a story that's nice that we can give a voice to. Hmm. Now, now to the person who dives into the research, let me ask you, the story reference of 76 uh, CRPF personnel goes back to 2010. We are in 2024. That red terror corridor is shrinking. What's the point of making the movie today? See, uh, I started uh, the, the, the whole ideology, that, that imported ideology called communism, which has come from China so, uh, and, and, and Russia. 
this uh, uh, imported uh, uh, ideology started that is the that is their uh, the arm struggle part started in 1967 in in, in Nakshalwari and uh, my, I was born in 1968 just next to uh, Nakshalwari place called Jalpaiguri. So I grew up along with the evolution of the uh, 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 revolutionary peace and movement or the arm struggle part of Maoist movement. So I saw this movement, you know, really building up, in, getting, getting the foundation in, 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 in this country from North Bengal mm -hmm. to South to Bihar, uh, 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 Jharkhand, Orissa, Maharashtra, Andhra going to Telangana. Already the mm -hmm. movement was going on there in Telangana up to Kerala. So this red corridor, yes, it was like earlier, it was almost like 172 districts were impacted. Right now, according to governmental uh, account, it is the, the LE, LWE districts are around 33-34. Hmm. But the epicenter of that movement, which is Bastar, from 1967 till today, nothing has changed there. That time the count was around 12,000 young boys having guns roaming around inside the jungle. Even today the number is same. The same structure going on there. Uh, uh, you have to understand that it is not that ideology or it is not that philosophy which we are fighting with. It is, it is a complete a stateless terror system working from there, hmm. which has an intention to break India. And, and, and though this discussion will be uh, pretty long if we get into that, but from my childhood, till the time I started thinking that I will make a film, Bastar was in my mind. Because uh, uh, in 2005, a uh, very interesting happened that against this leftist terror, first time a people's movement were built up. The local tribal who were dejected, hmm. frustrated with this continuous terror and atrocities of, this, of the Maoists, they decided to come together and make a, organize, make a tribal way of protesting called Salva Judum, hmm. which means uh, peace march. Hmm. So, in the history of Indian, uh, 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 Indian people struggle, mass struggle, this is a remarkable incident happened. So, uh, this is the time when our film started. I mean, in hmm. this film, we covered 2005 to 2013. In, uh, there was a huge court case was going on against Salva Judum because the urban intellectuals who are running this network in the jungle, they made a, uh, find a, they 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 uh, put a petition in Supreme Court to ban hmm. ban that movement, ban that uh, Salva Judum. So, in 2012, Salva Judum was officially banned by Supreme Court, and as a fallout, in one year. Almost uh, 16,000 people died in that one year, 2012 to 2013. And that was a, the biggest incident happened post Salva Judum was Mohindra Karma's killing. Yes. So I, I discussed with Bipulji when we decided to make a film and we collectively decided that this is the phase which is not only important for Bastar, but also be important for Indian history, hmm. Indian politics, Indian sociology, where first time tribals stood against this Maoist terror and they failed, though they failed, but they left an important milestone for our history. Hmm. So we put up, we picked up that face and made this film. True. Now, very interesting part that he said that there are urban intellectuals who are actually funding this and who are actually fueling this. So, aren't you worried those urban intellectuals will come after you because those urban intellectuals still exist? They do. And they are more dangerous actually, in my opinion, than the actually gun-wielding Nexels. Because they are bright minds and uh, sitting in the cities using the legal loopholes and the constitutional protections that is available to them, they are actually sitting in our society and trying to break our country change the entire democratic setup. They want a one party, single party dictatorship to be employed in India as a political dispensation. And that to me is an extremely worrying point because we can agree that democracy always has its own problem. Hmm. 
nothing is ever 100% perfect in democracy hmm. but that's still better than the idea of a single party dictatorship hmm. so uh, they need to be exposed and yes they will go after us like i mean that's a similar gang which went after us in kerala story correct they tried to prove us propaganda agenda blah 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 uh, and nothing came of it people loved the film people make it made it such a massive hit the only allegation they had against us was 32000 number hmm. that how did you get this 32000 it's exaggerated on the 6th of june we put out a huge long 17 minute video explaining the number 32000 with names institution blah 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 and then uh, when the and then we reached out to the media outlets and requested a debate on that and they turned back and they said that side doesn't want to come on a debate on this one <laughs> so uh, so you know uh, they got exposed uh, by trying to expose us and i believe that if they have any logical point if they have anything to say your truth is wrong like for example in the research what i read see 76 jawans were martyred we all know hmm. jnu celebrated on that particular occasion we all know but in the research i read an article where a 4 month old baby was hit with a iron rod and killed yeah. i read something to the effect of eight babies were snatched from their mothers and thrown into the burning fire and burned alive then there are multiple episodes of 52 jawan being martyred 36 <coughs> jawan being martyred 10 policemen eight it's like relentless violence the nhrc report says that in bastar in last 50 years approximately 55000 people have been killed and that number for kashmir from 1952 till date is 47000 mm. but kashmir was part of the national narrative and international narrative for 3 decades but nobody talks about bastar mm. so when i came to know about this entire thing when i read it and i went into a deep dive it we went to bastar we met people mm. and i met two <clears throat> girls who have converted from naxal they surrendered and now they are working for the cops hmm. uh dantewada force danteshwari force danteshwari force they work for them so i asked them that if you and they are the girls you know there was a a prize money of 5 lakhs on their head because they had actually killed people hmm. so i said why, why what made you change why did you come back on this side they said after a point even we could not deal with the kind of brutality that they are operating with it was impossible for us to live in that environment hmm. now when they are saying something like this my our writer third writer me dada and the third writer amarnath jha hmm. he is a <coughs> naxalite himself he even went to jail and then he came to this part of the society and he's written a book you hear stories from him and your you are you are shocked and stunned to your, your bone chilling complete mm. shocking so when i heard all of that i knew, i always knew that if i make this film i will face challenges i will uh, we will all be targeted <coughs> but then that should not stop you mm. if you find something so compelling which is so important for our nation to know and then if you stop then i think somewhere i'll not be able to forgive myself mm. i have to live with myself and so i decided that i'm going to go ahead and make this and let them try and hit us it's fine we'll deal with it did you go to bastar too yes i went there and i was uh, fortunate enough to meet the girls uh, who are in the force uh, i was fortunate enough uh, to go with them into the jungles to see how they train to be with them and train with them uh, they told me their stories as well Uh, they carry those heavy backpacks with all the food and everything that's 8 kilos then they put their ammunition here and in between the shoes and you have to walk really silently even with all that heavy uh, stuff on you because uh, if you make any noise crunching of leaves anyone from anywhere can hear you and you'll be shot so you have to do all that but really silently and sometimes days uh, in the forest uh, in the jungles inside without food water loo there's mm. no uh, Uh, loo available to you at your uh, hmm. so 
things like that uh, when they shared with me and the, the we met a girl who was 7 months pregnant and who didn't tell anyone she was till she was 7 months pregnant so that she could continue doing her duty because she was so committed to it hmm. uh, so so yes, this is many. part of the danteshwari force or this yes. is the, the, she, was, the, she yes. was from danteshwari, danteshwari yeah, force. but actually hmm. what what happened is we wanted rather to get hmm. uh, first hand experience rather hmm. than do something hmm. uh, plastic so hmm. she went there she spent time with danteshwari force then uh, the IG Vastar police and other other IPS officers showed her how to handle the weapons and how they behave. But she essentially spent time with Dante Shri. Were you able to understand what motivates the other side? What Were you motivates? When you spoke to these girls, why did they do what they did before they turned over? The two girls. The two girls, the two girls before girls, they huh? turned over. Yeah, before they turned over. Because uh, why did they do what they did? Because they were promised stuff that they weren't given. They were promised security, they were promised uh, money, they were promised safety, they were promised that someone will do something for them and come on this side because that's the right thing to do. Um, but I mean mm. fake promises and false promises and then there was so much violence and so much violence so they said that they couldn't see that violence anymore so they came to this side even though they know that they'll be hunted down uh, mm. by the other side someday right because mm. but, but, but I'm just asking you somebody had to fuel this system no? fund this system if this see, system still operates somebody is bringing in the money and ha, somebody is patronizing no, no, no. They are, that's a very interesting question you did actually money is being uh, produced there Okay. Uh, you, you perhaps you know that uh, that Abu Jumar forest uh, produced more than 8,000 crore uh, worth of uh, tendu patta, which is the uh, which which 40 percent Indian smoke. Hmm. Hmm. That that out of that 8,000, uh, approximately 17 to 18 percent of the levy remain with the Maoists there. Okay. And uh, that forest, that uh, that Abu Jumar forest has eight mountains which is called Bailadilla, which is the highest reserve of uh, uh, iron ore in entire Asia. Even we feed uh, Japan and China with our, our iron ore. Then it has the most precious stones uh, in the mines. So, Basta, that is, a, that, is the, that is our question we are asking with all these uh, uh, pseudo intellectuals that from uh, Bastar produces 2,200 to 2,500 crore uh, uh, parallel black economy which feeds most of the television channels. I will not name the television channels, you perhaps know, the newspaper houses that is and that goes up to New York Times. That is the reason when one urban uh, sympathizer of the Maoist being arrested who is a Delhi University professor, been arrested within one hour, 21 head of the states from Europe to Africa, they are writing letters that Indian human rights situation is at a stake, India mm. is the dark spot of the human rights and our president does not know what to do. So that lady was being given, uh, not, not taken to the court and she has been given bail. So, this money used to run the whole network of the and that is the reason our urban intellectuals are so much interested in Bastar. Just imagine uh, from Bastar, 100 kilometer, there is another forest called Jabua. Hmm. Bastar has 82 percent uh, tribal population, Jabua has 100 percent tribal population, Maoists are not there. Maoists are here from Delhi, 200 kilometer. Hmm. Uh, uh, above Rishikesh, there is a 100 percent tribal colonies there, there is no Maoist mm. because there is no Tendupatta, mm. there is no iron ore. So, for 1967, these people decided that the whole Break India Brigade can be alive till it has been cut into 32 pieces, uh, 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 Just provided, the, provided that fund comes to the town. The, the 12,000 armed young boys and girls who are there inside the forest, they are malnourished. They don't even get 150 rupees for their survival. Hmm. But the leaders sitting in Hyderabad and Bangalore, their children are studying in uh, all top universities in, in US, and, uh, US and UK and Europe. Hmm. So it's, 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 it's a, that is what I'm saying. 
I was asking uh, uh, someone, I don't know whom, uh, you know China is, is a huge country. Right. Can you name the fourth city in China after Guangdong, uh, uh, Beijing and, uh, and Hunai oh, or right. Shanghai? Not the fifth one because their system is like that. They don't let people know what is going on there inside their country. In North America, North Korea, people have been told that if your income group is that, you will be able to laugh five times a day. Even your, how, how many times you will laugh will, will, be dominated, will be termed by the government. So, Bastar is their uh, workshop. Bastar is their laboratory for India. Because... So then if, if uh, uh, one, oh, one oh, last, oh, because you have to understand a simple thing that Maoist or a communist ideology never worked with the democracy. They don't believe in democracy. Not in China, not in Russia, not in Korea, not in Cambodia, not in Albania, nowhere. They work, they either fought with the feudal system or a capitalism or anarchism. Hmm. And when they come into power, they become the dictator. So what is their relation with the democracy? So they take the name of Baba Sahib Ambedkar to attract uh, 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 the poor. But first thing they do is they vandalize the, his uh, constitution. Yeah. So uh -huh. this ideology, they, it's a small part of this ideology is fighting a political battle. But the large is anarchism. Hmm. Larger part is larger part is basically uh, vandalism, hooliganism, and violence. Just so to they, they the feed system. on anarchy, or they feed anarchy, they feed uh, violence, so that they can continue to rule the roost or call the shots. Simple. And somewhere around, you are the saying Buster is, doing. Buster is like, Buster is the the big money pot. Yes. So uh, as long as they hold on to that money pot, they continue to fuel or fund their ideas. Absolutely. So that's what you're saying from your uh, point the, of view. No, and no, and no, there are many examples. No, I, I mean, just look at this irony. The projection or the, the narrative that has been built is that these are poor people who are fighting against injustice. Correct. Now, these poor people get the best weapons in the world. Hmm. How? From where? Where does the money come from? And how are they able to procure so many AK-47s and AK-56 and all kind of guns? They have satellite communication systems. They have got every terrific modern day equipment. How? If they are so poor, who are actually fighting a feudal system that is India, then how are they getting all these things? Hmm. They are not easy. I mean, if, if you and me want to get a gun today in India, is it possible? Hmm. No, but they have it like in abundance. Hmm. So, on any account you look at them, you come to know that there is a narrative building and protection, trying to create a protective shield for something as violent as Naxalism. No, but they, if that's the case, if, if that continues to thrive with 10 years of the current disposition, which is supposed to be different from the previous disposition, notwithstanding that even the, in the previous disposition, you had someone like Mr. P. Chidambaram stand in parliament and call Maoists terrorists. He openly calls them terrorists. At that time also, the disposition said in parliament that Maoists are terrorists. That's when the lexicon started. Now, 10 years, internal security, there's been a big crackdown. Maoist terror, the corridor itself is shrinking. But you say Buster, Buster still thrives. They're holding Buster. That okay. is their last bastion. They're holding it. Because if Bastar goes, the entire leftist ideology, which has a long-term goal to capture power in India, Lal Janda in Lal Killa, uh, that will be defeated. So, they have given everything to protect that bastion called Bastar. And they have the benefit at this point of time. No matter what a previous government, this government has said, <coughs> it, has, it is a, such a huge, intricate network of 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 the of, of their of their survival instinct that uh, it is very difficult to locate because you have to understand there are almost 20 25 lakhs of villagers residing inside that jungle hmm. they are the human shield for them so even if you try, even indian army tries to use maximum possible secure uh, uh, their, Force, their, their, yeah. their their vigilance system finding those you know Mm. Uh, brains out of those 20 lakhs people, 20, 25 leadership people are there inside the jungle. Interestingly, in Abu Jumar, the language they speak is Madia. Uh. 
but the top 23 leaders of these Maoists, 17 are Telugu speaking, 2 are Bengali speaking, 1 is Odia speaking. So just imagine inside that forest, who are the people basically tottering the guns? It's a, it, you have to understand, it's a, such a huge network for last 50 years to keep that Bastar laboratory alive. They have given everything. Hmm. They have given everything to protect that. And still today they are, they are, they are actually successful because they have strengthened the, the urban network of the support system. Hmm. So, and they are keeping it surveyed, starting from, I am not supposed to talk about politics or judiciary or any, any kind of uh, support system of this country. But the matter of fact is the people suffering. And if you trace their sufferings, you will find something startling in your expose. Hmm. So, so this whole terminology of urban Naxal is not a misnomer. It's a reality. Well, uh, 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 the, uh, word, we don't use the word urban Naxal because uh, Naxal, the concept of Naxal is urban. Hmm. So putting an ar Naxal, urban word before prefix, uh, before Naxal is, I think, grammatically wrong. No, so we would, we would say Naxal. urban intellectuals or urban support system of hmm the Maoist or Naxals working there in the working, ground. Working there. So it's a, it's a, you're saying it's an urban phenomena which is manifest in Bastar because that's a money pot and it's, they are guarding that as their last bastion. You know, uh, today I found a uh, video, one of the noted poet, one of the uh, contemporary, one of the biggest contemporary poet, Barbara Rao's interview, yeah. I was, I was uh, watching in YouTube. He's saying after 76 John's killing, hmm. he's saying, what the hell these uh, CRPF people were doing inside the jungle? They should know that gun the, the guys who are having guns inside the jungle, they can kill anyone. So immediately ask rest of the uh, CRPF jungles to go out of the jungle. This is the respect this gentleman has. Just imagine how, how they are being protected. If Barbara Rao kind of personality coming in their support, and condemning the death of 76 Jawans, then you know what exactly going on inside the forest. It's a massive network. So let me ask you this. After you did all your research, then did you think twice, do I really want to do this? <laughs> no, I was very sure. I was very sure I want to be part of a film that uh, well, speaks the truth and uh, things <coughs> that we didn't know about in our own country. I love my country. and. Mm. Uh, I'm sure there are so many people who do, who came and watched Kerala story and openly spoke about how much they loved it and openly spoke about how they want to protect our country. And I'm one of those people Ke who... Kerala uh, story hinged upon uh, actresses, you know, uh, you along with a few people who had come from nowhere and burst onto the scene. You've been around for a while, but that was your big thing. And you caused quite a splash. The audience loved you, but where are the awards? If it's that particular award you're asking me no, no, about, I'm just, I'm then just asking, uh, you, the I'm question just asking should... you largely, largely, did you get a, I'm asking you this, uh, is Adha Sharma going to be there? I don't want to come. I don't want to share stage with her. Don't put her in the awards list. Did this happen? Not to my face, at least I don't think so. But these things won't happen to your face, no, if someone is... Uh, no, but did you, get, did you get a sense that you're being ignored, you're being set aside. No, 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 let's not call the Kerala story uh, people. <laughs> Did, let me ask you. No, this is a, this is a big mystery uh, to me that when uh, the whole... So there was this very interesting poll that was conducted on internet where she got 76% oh, yeah, saying the best really performance, cool, best performance of the year. 76% of the people thought that she should, she's the one and she should get all the awards. Hmm. But the mystery is that Kerala story doesn't get a single nomination in any awards. Hmm. Why? Big question. I am also asking myself. Sir, answer is to already we discussed. It's an urban network of them. Hmm. They and don't let other. See, Ada Sharma. No matter, no matter, they recognize Ada Sharma or not. She is the people's actress, and people of this country has given single-handed uh, verdict that so she is the best. Does then that increase the pressure on you? 
Let then me just. In fact, that makes it no pressure, no, because if you're not nominating me at all, I can't win. Na? The pressure is there no, if no, you no. nominate. No, no, no. The pressure is that you may not want to get awards. You may not. You may say, all right, I don't want that. No, to be honest, but I to... love awards and all. I think validation is great from every yeah. place, from mm. the audience first, because you're making the movie for the audience, and from the industry, from everyone. Everyone is people, finally, right? You're making the movie for people. I don't select when I make a movie and say it's only for those three people. They're not for him. I don't discriminate. I'm very equal to all. My movie is for everybody who wants mm. to see it. But you and get the feeling uh, that you've been discriminated against. No, I let me tell you one thing. Uh. We all know <laughs> awards have lost their credibility 20 years back. Hmm. I mean, there is no mystery that these awards are really, I mean, they are just a television yeah, event. Yeah, but then if you get a nomination, you will still celebrate it, right? You yeah. may say you. No, I have stopped yeah. going to award functions for last 15 Correct. years. But if they said Kerala Story is getting an award, will you say I don't want it? Uh, no, you will want I it. I have been nominated uh, many times and I have not gone. Hmm. And then when I, when on the day of the award, that nomination changes to something else. Hmm. So that's fine. I have no problem. Even Amir Khan has stopped going to the award function. He has said it openly. And many more people have said it openly that these awards have lost their credibility because they are all just made for right. TV events. There is nothing credible left about these awards. So it is actually up to them to mm. think mm. because more and more people will realize that if you are not nominating Kerala story or not nominating her, how credible can your award be? So I'm, I'm just asking you and I hope it doesn't happen. I hope and even if it does happen, you continue to make fantastic movies. Do you people look at each other and say, are we going to be the only guys making movies with each other? <laughs> Not really. No, not really. No, My I'm next film sure. is not with Bipulsha. Bipulsha's next next film is not with me. And I just did Sunflower season two, which released uh, she, two weeks back, which hmm. wasn't with. So, them so it's me. not that there is no work or people are not taking you on no, because you are no, doing no, no. subjects like this because See, you are making uh, movies. Bipulsha, I think you consecutively did four films with Akshay Kumar. No, seven. Hmm. Seven films. So nobody has that time because Ada. Yeah, why Ada are you asking when it's me? I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm asking you. No, I'm he is no. asking in the light of these. Of because of the because of the subjects that you're taking, but, not because uh, of anything else. You, because like, because uh, like I said, you've pushed the anti. No, already. It. Actually, what happened is when I made Bipul Sir, me and Bipul Sir discussed that these two films we will make together. That was very clear with, between us. You know, this kind of mm. either Kerala story or Bastar cannot be made in one day. Yeah. So, when we met, we discussed both the concepts and we decided to do the film together. There is only one uh, confusion between us that which one will be the earlier. Hmm. Otherwise, Bastar could not be made in nine months from Kerala story. We did not even enjoy a day. We did not take a break. We finished Kerala story and immediately started this film. Hmm. No, so, it was it, in our plan actually. Yeah, yeah. but I look at it, look at this situation is this way. I am a very democratic person and I believe the lobby also has a democratic right to not work with us. Hmm. I can't hold grudges against them for not working with me because I am making a certain kind of film. Correct. That is their democratic right, fully respected, no problems. Hmm. I believe if I have any talent left in me, I'll be able to make one film of mine every year See, or whenever no, I want. Not just that. I'm just saying that when you're saying stories that actually matter, these are stories that matter, then why should certain people say, we don't want to share stage with that person, we don't want to share screen space with that person, or we don't want, but really, do we really need to... I'm just saying, does that irk you? Does that hurt you? Do you no, think that's, that's the wrong attitude? That is, there, that is, a, there, is a, a, there is a fear in their heart about... You know, people in film industry make, if I will be seen like this, my brand will get affected like this, blah, blah, blah. And if that fear is in their hearts, we are more than happy to be no, not part of that award that function. Right. I, think, I think people, are, people sh have a lot of reason to be jealous with Ada. Mm. Because uh, the amount of love and adulation she got in nine months, people are making nail paints uh, with her That's picture. Nice. People are having tattoo uh, in others with others' face. See, it I'm, is, not, it is, it I'm not questioning the fandom. It is not isolated incidents. It is happening from I'm not questioning country. the fandom. I am questioning the group or perhaps yeah, that entire lobby the... that is supposed to celebrate those who push the anti in cinema who are saying, no, we don't want to celebrate these, uh, this See, because you are, push the anti in a direction we they don't are, like. They are, already that, exposed, that's what I'm they are already exposed this way. People are not stupid. 
people are there exposed that the film which is the highest gross, grossing women centric film in the history of the country heroine of that girl is not their nomination list that is sufficient enough to expose their uh, 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 hypocrisy right the uh, answer lies always with the audience right correct if audience decides to give them a right. real yeah. befitting reply then i'm sure they will they will understand it very quickly All right. so we, we we'll rest it there let me ask you this final question coming back to the movie or as saying a character as an officer who's looking at the home minister in that scene yeah. and saying let's both of us walk without anybody on the streets of bastar in a village and let's see who survives that takes some gumption where where what is that character and who are you playing in this movie who's so, that character i'm playing neerja madhavan she's brave and fearless and very aspirational she's someone who i think i would look up to and want to have even half the kind of fearlessness that she hmm. that she has but she's and, a fictional uh, character based on uh, factual she's based on a few people to okay. be honest who i some I, who i could meet some who i could read about uh, some who um, so like mm. a few of those girls who i met also yeah. so say it's the an amalgamation of it is of a few yeah. people mm. and uh, there's an incident that's happened with where our 76 jawans were butchered where she was desperate and she was uh, begging for backup when she knew something's going to happen and the home minister refused because he said it's night time and i can't today or after two days or so and she was desperately calling them up and she was unable to save the 76 jawans and she's really frustrated and very angry and like i said she's someone who's fighting against a whole corrupt system an entire ecosystem being against her and it's just her mm. fighting mm. against them she's really frustrated now she has nothing to lose it's almost at that point you know you're sometimes fearful to say things because you think maybe i i could lose something i could mess up but when you've lost everything and you have only more to lose and nothing to gain so that's it's a scene that comes then it's a long so, so it's a point of no return and that's when you turn your back to the wall and then you just want to claw your way out of it uh, uh, she's not it? clawing her way out for her it's every time she loses she comes back with more power and every time she loses again and the opposition is getting stronger and stronger and stronger usually in a film you see when someone's fighting your hero and your main person fighting you know starts getting a little here she gets weaker and because the opposition is getting stronger and those people are given more arms and the poor people the tribals are uh, there are more atrocities uh, hmm. committed towards them so she's frustrated and very uh, okay yeah. final question how much of what you've shown is real even today 100% sir almost everything i mean if you read last 20 days newspaper in bastar there have been uh, four jawans were martyred yeah one police officer was killed right outside the police station in broad daylight uh three bjp politicians were hacked one of them was hacked with an axe cut into pieces that's real story now and i am not talking about any political party i'm just giving you information that i've read and we keep talking about it every on a every daily basis hmm. so the violence in bastar is non stop and relentless even today as we speak i mean imagine 10 12 people have been killed in last 15 20 days 15 20 days 55000 in the five, last 5 decades so that is just not stopping right that needs to stop that's the point so that's the message of this movie bastar and uh, for those who didn't know some of the stories that have been shared the realities of bastar everybody is is looking at the spotlight in one direction whereas something else far more drastic and far more diabolical is happening right in our own backyard ladies and gentlemen think about it